Battle Rankings. Welcome to Battle Rankings Live. I'm Svetlana, uh, and this is an post ATC video. Uh, this week's video isn't going to be super long. Um, and if you are watching, you're going to be able to see a ton of pictures from the tournament. Uh, and if you're just listening, maybe check out the video. Um, uh, cause there's just a lot of pictures, uh, from the tournament. Um, some spicy assault action pictures, um, where you just see the thinking on their faces. Uh, it's super great. Uh, I saw a lot of faces that I don't normally get to see. Uh, and some faces that I've seen all the time. <laughs> um, the There was a Team Yankee tournament and a Flames of War tournament for, uh, for the Battlefront games. But there was also a bunch of other games there um, that are very all very interesting all in their own right. Um, there was Saga, there was uh, some games I haven't ever heard of before or that aren't necessarily commercially available. It's kind of like a niche, oh, I came up with this and I, I prototyped it and that's also cool. There's also some really fun vendors there um, and I picked up some models that I don't normally get to see and I just thought they were, were, were cool looking. Um, and then there was also some vendors there uh, that I'm very familiar with because we go to their game store all the time. Uh, also, I've met some new players like this one right here. All right, you're good. All right. My name is Taylor Alsobrook. I'm at Advanced Stud Colors 2022 in uh, Springfield, Ohio, I believe is where we're at. Uh, had my first Team Yankee tournament yesterday, 74 points. Uh, um, come from a background of long time Warhammer and War Machine, things like that. And I gotta say that the best part of this whole thing has been the community. Walking in, these guys have sat us down, played, uh, taught me, and my son, because my son's here as well. Um, so this is really great. I brought West Germans at 74 points, which, you know, could be a bit of a challenge because they don't have, uh, have numbers. Uh, I learned some great lessons on air power. Uh, Four Harriers can be a pretty nasty thing, for sure. Um, I learned about the rules, the things that I missed before, uh, like using move, how to use movement orders for uh, blitz and shoot and scoot and things like that. And then this today there's a Flame of War tournament that I didn't sign up for in advance, and there was an e even number of players already, so I didn't want to uh, you know, be the odd, cause enough something to buy for someone. softball in there, um, but uh, I definitely learned I need to use my half track to score my infantry better, and my self-destruct guns like the Hornets, um, they need to be in better position to score my infantry as well, especially when I do assault with my arms. So that and the nuances and rules were the big takeaways, um, but I had a great time. So thank you. Cool, thank you. And he was super fun to meet. Uh, and talk to, um, and a few players that I was able to kind of direct them uh, to the resources we provide um, for novice, new player type of videos, and also the, all of our different types of um, interviews and other game topics. Uh, so if you're new, 
thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, and for all, all of our other all of our others, watchers, listeners, also thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of Joe's heart, because uh, I know he also appreciates this. Uh, sometimes he'll see uh, something pop up and he'll be like, oh my gosh, look at this. This is super cool. Um, so we really do appreciate all the support. And I really do like doing these smash up videos. Um, they're just cool to make. Uh, the Flames of War tournament in particular was interesting uh, because it was red versus blue and there was a perfect split and everyone that signed up for the tournament showed up for the tournament um and that doesn't always happen so i won't ever count on that again <laughs> the lightning never strikes twice um so thank you. I hope you enjoy the uh, video presentation. Um, and look out for next week's video. Uh, I think you'll like it. Uh, John will be back again. Uh, and then up in the next few weeks, um, we'll start doing master's content. Uh, invites went out. We're still waiting on a few people to accept invites. Um, and just keep an eye out. Uh, we, there might be some lives coming up. Uh, there's plenty of upcoming tournaments. Swayable Company will be doing this side tournament right here. Uh, I will be helping T.O. with Scott Ernie. Uh, it is 95 point late war and each list must contain one non-armored unit. Uh, whether that's infantry, toad AT, uh, mortars, anything like that. But if it says armored on the car, it's armored. That's our spin on this. You have to have one non-armored unit. Um which I'll likely be playing in this, and that'll also be a very interesting challenge for me because I like a lot of tanks. I like a lot of armored things. I like to be able to move and shoot and hide in my truck. Uh, so this will be a twist for me, and if this is a twist for you, comment, leave your opinion, thoughts in the comments. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit all the fun buttons. Uh, tell your friends if they haven't ever heard about us, but you think they should know about us, uh, and enjoy this presentation. Richard Urchanik. I play the Soviet Army, the uh, Engineer Pioneer Battalion, and I had a company of T-34-85s and a decoy unit of three Panthers. And uh, we started out very well. We uh, knocked out four armored personnel carriers. We both picked attack and we did counterattack for the mission. So I was looking, I was like, oh, well, this is going good, but that was the last success we had for a while. After that, uh, his airplanes came in, uh, my airplanes came in a lot, and the first time they come in, we attacked his anti-aircraft guns because there was no other target other than what was being 
already under the air umbrella. And uh, thought I was going to lose the game because we were making our turn six assault and counterattack. And uh, we got beat back, and then they advanced up and didn't attack us with their counterattack. It was uh, armored uh, half tracks with 25 or the 75 millimeter guns on them, so it's not a really good attack vehicle. And my engineers all had uh, the anti tank mines, the PG 6s, and Panzer Faust. So anyway, we sc scraped up a 7 1 victory because his uh, unit kept, uh, he rolled a 1 and his leader was nearby and rolled a 1, so he didn't rally his German high morale troops and uh, we shot him off the objective and didn't even get to attack him. We killed him off and that was it. We won one objective. He had three big uh, King Tiger, not King Tigers, yeah, King Tigers. Coming in on the, the one flank, but the table kept him from doing much. Uh, one company and the tanks faced each other in the far objective. Nothing really happened there. They just looked at each other. Our plane strafed him three or four times. Couldn't drop a bomb to hit a man in the moon. And uh, I was pleased to get a 7-1, or 7-2. I was figuring on losing, actually. It was a close game. Awesome. Thank you. Second game was against Gabriel and Soviet heavy tank formation with uh, JS2. And let's, get, let's say it was a learning experience. So, um, and they were both great games. So I had a great time. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm Gabriel Jones. I'm at Advanced to Colors. Uh, sorry. Uh, what army did you play? Oh, I played the Russians. At, with the mission of fighting with Raw, and I lost that mission. Okay, how did what? How did your game go though? Like, uh, oh, it was an eight to one. Eight to one. Eight to one loss. Okay, and then like big events, anything like that? Big events. Uh, surprises. Any? No. It's, it's fine. With the guys. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Nick Jones. I'm at APC, year 2022, and I just got done playing a Flames War tournament. Oh, oh one faction of the game. I uh, played uh, Germans, uh, German Panther Company, uh, in an encounter mission. I was uh, fighting against a about equal field opponent, uh, playing with a British infantry company. Um, I ended up losing uh, due to a one major factor as a uh, not moving my uh, forces in the correct direction at the uh, right amount of time, and uh, it cost me the game. Cool, thank you.